Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been some time since I've done a video but I've been quite busy lately with work and life in general. Today we're finally going back to cooking something and I thought about a new challenge because I love challenges and I wanted to start something new. We're going to do a game called Pin the World and I'll show you in a minute. Here we have a beautiful map of the world and the people. And I'm going to spin around and pin hopefully a country in the world, otherwise the sea. And we're going to make a dish from that specific country. Have a Mongolia. The pin has spoken, we're going to cook something from Mongolia. So now let's consult the interwebs and find a recipe from Mongolia and go shopping. I just come home from shopping. I basically just bought flour and garlic cloves because I had the rest at home. And we're ready to start now. You will need 300 grams of minced meat, one onion, two cloves of garlic, 150 milliliters of water, 250 grams of flour, pepper, salt, caraway seeds, and a couple of tablespoons of water. You will also need a steamer. I used a bamboo steamer, but any kind of steamer is also fine. Start by mixing the meat with the garlic, chopped onions, uh, the caraway seeds, salt and pepper. Remember that you need quite a bit of salt because the dough for the dumplings doesn't have any salt whatsoever. Mix the ingredient until you get a quite smooth dough. Now it's time to start our dough for the dumplings. Mix the water with the flour and work it with your, work it into a nice and smooth dough and make a ball out of it and leave it to rest for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to transfer our ball of dough onto a floured surface and cut approximately 2 cm sausages out of it. Roll them up and cut them again into approximately 2 to 3 cm squares. Make the squares into plates and fill them with a table, teaspoon of filling. Now it's time to fold our dumplings and you can watch me fail at folding it. Even though the recipe said it's very easy to fold them, it still requires some sort of, well, talent and a lot of exercise. So let's see if my technique improves after the first 30 to 40 dumplings. Now it's finally time to steam our dumplings since I'm using a bamboo steamer. I use a brush with some oil on it so that the dumplings won't stick to the steamer. I place the dumplings and cover it with a lid and let it steam for 15 minutes. Now we can open our lid, fan a bit the steam on the surface so that the dumplings get a glossy appear appearance and they're ready to be served. For serving you can serve them with nothing or in Mongolia nowadays apparently people love to serve them and eat them with ketchup or basically any other type of sauce. Since the Mongolian cuisine is a quite meaty cuisine, it is not common to eat vegetables with booze, but to eat them just alone. And otherwise you can serve them with any type of vegetable you would like. Here we have our finished booze, or however you pronounce it. If you are Mongolian or if you know how to pronounce this dish, please let me know. And since it's almost 10 o'clock, I'll get going, I'll have my dinner and I'll see you next time. Bye!